Okay, this is Eric from Premier Pack. I have Tilly, the French Bulldog, and we're gonna just gonna do a little training session uh, working her on place. So we have this place got here, and that's very useful for developing self-control for dogs. It's just so practical in everyday life, and we're gonna help her have a nice, comfortable, safe spot there and have her enjoy the process, okay? So I got some treats handy. I got the leash for guidance. I'm gonna label the command as she's about to step onto it, okay? So Tilly, place, yep. Good girl. Now I say, yep, that's my affirmative marker, okay? So when she hears that, she knows she did something correctly and a treat is coming or a praise is coming. So it's all part of the learning process. When I say, yep, that means she did what I wanted her to do. So you'll hear that. I'll also say, nope, meaning try again. You'll probably hear that as well. I'll also say break, meaning it's okay to get off the place command or out of whatever command it is. So I'll say place. Yeah, I say it when she gets all four feet up there. When I first started introducing this to her, it was just one foot. Then it was, you know, two feet. And then I progressed and made sure she got the whole body on and then also a sit. So she's got that really well. No? Good. Sit. Good. It's cute when she stands up like that. <laughs> but what I want her to do is get more of a relaxed state. Sit, good. I might even see if she'll... Come on, get back up here. Good. Lay down. Down. Oh. I shouldn't even said that word, actually. I should get the command down first. Break. Good. So now I'm going to see if I can get her to stay up there for a short amount of time while I walk away. Place. Good. When I say good, that means I want you to stay there. Keep doing what you're doing. Good. Good girl. This is good. She wants to come to me, but she's recognizing that boundary. So this is very good. I'm going to give it to her. Give a treat to her. I'm not going to call her away and then give it to her. I'll bring it so she stays in place. Good. Nope. Good. So I try to catch those little moments where she's about to get up and tell her no. Good. And when she sits back down, that's good. 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 And then I'll invite her off by saying, break, break. Good. So I always give her the positive uh, affirmation to let her know that she's doing what I want her to do. So communication is key, you know, the yes and the no's. Until they come. Good. Come on, a little closer. Come on. Sit. Yep. Good. Good, Tilly. Nope. Sit. Good. Sit. Good. I'm just acting like I'm ignoring her for a minute. See if she'll keep command. Very good. It's stepping away a little bit and she's not moving. That's what I want. Good. Break. Place. Place. Good girl. Tilly, place. Good. 
that's it. Yep. Good. So this is where the command gets very useful. When she knows to stay in her place, and I'm allowed to greet my guests, I'm allowed to cook my dinner, I'm allowed to watch TV, whatever it is, while she can be somewhat around and involved, but yet, you know, keeping her space at the same time. All right, so it may look a little boring. It's not flashy, but it's super practical. Great command. Tilly, break. Good girl. Let's go say hi to the camera. Incoming Frenchie. Ooh, round. <laughs>